everyone and welcome to Mike's Dive Store. I'm Lauren and today I'm going to be talking to you about hand signals, most specifically the emergency and safety hand signals that you need to know when you dive in. In case you missed it in my last video, I talked about hand signals that you need to know, so that's the basics from the OK signal to ascend and descend. If you want to check that out, make sure to check it out on our playlists. Are you ready to find out the emergency hand signals that you need to know? Alright, now let's get started. The hand signals I'm about to show you are the vital hand signals that you need to know when you're diving. So you know what your body is communicating and what you're communicating to your buddy during an emergency situation. So save this video in your playlist as a reminder so you can learn for the future. So if you're ever in an emergency situation, you can communicate to your buddy or your buddy can understand you what the problem is. Because let's face it, we can't speak underwater, we can't hear anyone underwater. So sign language is the only form of communication. Unless of course you have a drawing pad, but not everyone has one of those, so sign language is the most effective way of communication. All right, here we go now. Here is the most essential items that you need to know during emergency situations when you're diving. So the first one is out of air. This signals to your buddy that you're out of air and you need an alternate air source. So I talked about this in my last video, this is something wrong. So this is to communicate to your buddy that there is something wrong. And with another hand signal, you point to where your problem is. So say, equalization. So if you've got a problem with your equalization, this is the hand signal you should use. If you've got a problem with nitrogen narcosis, use this hand signal and this. If you've got a problem with your stomach, point to your stomach. If you're in need of air sharing, this is the hand signal you use. So if you're ever in a situation when you've actually lost your buddy, this signal to others that you cannot find your buddy. This is a sign to let your buddy know that there is danger. Make sure to keep your hand clenched. This is a sign for strong current, turn around. So you can let your buddy know that there is strong current in front of you and you need to turn around. And last but not least is help slash rescue. So if you need help on the surface, just give them a wave on the surface, big wave as much as you can, so you can let the people know on the surface that you need help. And that's it for today's video. Please make sure that you save this video in your playlist so you can learn off it and so you know that what to communicate on future dives whether you and your buddy have a problem. In my next video, I'll be talking about the hand signals that you can use when you find sea creatures underwater. For the most common ones from sharks to octopus to new branch, you'll discover them all. So make sure to check that out as well. And if you have any questions about the hand signals I've talked about today, please just make sure to email us at support at I've included the link below. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to keep more up to date on the latest scuba news, advice, product reviews, make sure to click the subscribe button over link below. And wherever you choose to dive next, make sure you have happy diving adventures and stay safe.